Hey everyone, Zef here and welcome to Table of Tales Overview. It's so good to see you will have yet another title from my favorite genre personally. Something about turn-based stuff, like it's so fun to play. Whether that's Final Fantasy, Shin Megami Tensei, Persona, you name it, I probably know of it. And this one is cooking up to be really good as well. So Table of Tales is a single-player turn-based strategy camping game where we embark on a journey with four scoundrels that throughout the adventure based on the choices you make, battle and travel your way Way with a narration based world. This is pretty much 100% along my expertise in gaming. It seems like a mashup of Final Fantasy tactics and Dungeons and Dragons. Apparently not only the choices you make will shape the gameplay and there's gonna be many outcomes, many endings and playthroughs to do. The characters you will control will fully have upgrade paths and their own unique playstyle. We'll also be able to play with controls or hand tracking even in the start of the release. Just the whole concept of it is amazing. Now I don't particularly love love the art style. Maybe it's not fair comparing to Dimio, but tabletops in particular have an opportunity to enhance their graphics because essentially you're looking in one direction only. So unless the whole gameplay will hold its own against that, then I'm pretty sure we'll be totally fine. If it's claiming not one playthrough will be the same, I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that as well on the channel. Like multiple endings sometimes is fine, but I'm pretty sure everyone would kill me for just having couple playlists of one game. All in all pretty exciting stuff. Let's just just quickly jump into it. Yeah, how to play first? Oh my god, I mean, if you don't know this stuff already, then <laughs> you're not playing VR. There's like nothing to change, honestly, so let's go. Actually, challenge. Hey, little magpie. Not so little now, I guess, if you're reading this, it's been a long time. Oh yeah, because we got a present. Can I like hold it properly, not just curved? <laughs> oh, hello there. Oh, my, feels like I've been asleep for years. I suppose you're wondering what this is all about. I remember your aunt being just as surprised. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Arbitrix. I am the master of the table and a prodigious teller of tales. And you, my friend, are about to embark upon quite the adventure. I hope you're ready. <laughs> we'll see. The storm came out of nowhere. <laughs> The ship is on its way back to the biggest port in the Crown's Islands. Its voyage has been a success. The substantial treasure on deck was, let's say, acquired by four scoundrels who hired the ship for their venture. Who are they, you ask? Pick them up and see for yourself. Oh. This is Hammer, a vital... If you want to know more about a scoundrel, place them on one of the plinths on the table edge near you. Hammer. Yeah, it's just some D&D statistics. Thomas Turlinger, the apothecary. A genius of experimental potions with a rather... questionable clientele. <laughs> This one calls herself Nuna. Don't ask where she got her heretical, and very illegal, powers of dark sorcery. <laughs> Captain Frost, commander of this ship. Not exactly one of the scoundrels, then. <laughs> Introducing Horatio Nine Lives the Thrice Blessed. The swindler came up with that name himself. As the storm swells, Captain Frost abandons the wheel. As her there at the rail shouting nonsense into the wind. The crew aren't happy. They've bewitched the captain, yells first mate Barnabas. And brought this storm upon us. We must take the ship for ourselves. This is mutiny. A band of heroes would try and talk the crew around, but these are scoundrels. The best way they know to end a mutiny is to put it down. Hard. 
time to fight. Each turn, you must spend all your yellow power pits to move, attack, or rest in order to defeat your foes. Huh? I love the voice of Aaron. Move your scoundrel next to a foe. If you move too far, you'll begin to expend their power pits. And there's like an amount you spend. The music has to come down. So there are like squares, but I would appreciate them being like highlighted so I clearly know where I can go. I mean, it's obvious, but just for the clarity. So if we move, we won't be able to use anything. These mutineers were supposed to help your scoundrels return to civilization with their ill-gotten gains. Now it seems they're attempting a little skullduggery of their own. It's kind of like very slow because I have to actually put them down and then read what they do. It's nice to have like <laughs> health bar and stuff like that. Also this blue thing, is this defense? Yes, okay, because I saw a spell that penetrates that. Play this card on a foe within range to expend power pips and attack. What about this chest? <laughs> oh, wait, hey! <laughs> I guess we, if we pop this, then we'll get something. I see you can get defense from the skills as well. Okay, <laughs> now talking, let's just do something. Okay, yes. A booster shot, and it costs two. Play this card on an ally within range to expend power pips and give them a boost. And we can do it twice if we don't move. Oh wait, no, the power is actually just the whole like action points, okay. And we can rest. Play this card to expend the rest of your power pips and fortify your scoundrel. Huh. One of the remaining crew comes up from below to join the fight. Hey. Oh wow. Oof. It's like to know exactly what's happening, you have to every time move on those podiums. It is a good idea here. The animations are a little bit basic. So everyone can essentially heal themselves. If there are enemies in range, I guess it's just better to blast them off. Oh, well. <laughs> This one thing. Oh, I can actually demate someone. Or rest as well. Damn. Maybe I chose too much difficulty. I'm thinking, can we actually surpass the defense limit? Yes. There is some strategy to it, it's like not obvious at first. But this rest thing, if you don't do anything, it's really OP. I wonder if I move just a little bit, will that like use my points? It doesn't seem like it. Oh my god, <laughs> so that's definitely handy to do. Another sailor comes on deck. Looks like the whole crew is in on the mutiny. The scoundrels will have to defeat them all. Am I, <laughs> am I be able to pass this first stage? I should the jump to them though. I can't necessarily put a position where I land either. She's kinda dying, but I 
need to kill both of them here. Will I damage myself? Yeah, that's fine. The ship's cook appears! Cleaver in hand! That's all the sailors accounted for. The fight is nearly done. Hang in there! Okay, 5 HP. I think I'll be fine. Let's see. I think I need to pick up this chest. Can I actually? No. <laughs> well, I'm ready for a combat. Get out of here. Yeah, now I'm like starting to think faster. Pfft. My mate, you're pretty weak. Him. You've defeated the mutineers, but you still need to regain control of this ship. There is a lot going wrong and all your scoundrels will need to pitch in if they want any hope of surviving this storm. Try to choose the best scoundrel for each task. The more stars they contribute, the better. Place them on the skill checks and see for yourself. Okay, <laughs> it's like a math test to see who's... <laughs> capable of the work. I guess let's put the masters on the actual spots. The captain has abandoned the wheel. Someone strong needs to steer the ship through this storm. Play this card on the skill check to attempt it. Take and roll the die to find out if you succeed. Rain against the wheel and manage to hold on, steering clear of the worst of the storm. The mast is creaking ominously. Someone fast needs to climb the rigging and trim those sails. Uh-oh, you probably needed that mast. At least no one was crushed under it when it fell. Uh, that's fine. He's about to snap. Better get some. Aha, uh -huh, so it adds up to the and skill. And then the rabbit goes back into his hole. Yes, they did it. The cannon's not going anywhere. <laughs> Captain Frost is waving that pistol around with a mad gleam in her eye. Someone needs to talk sense to her. She looks at them. The way a teacher looks at an annoying student. Calm? Oh, of course I'm calm. Calm as this ocean. <laughs> so, hey. no help from the captain then. And to think, these four paid to hire her ship. You've done all you can for now. The ship's as safe as it can be. And just as well as a giant wave is about to roll over the deck. Brace for impact! <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Unfortunately for these scoundrels, there are only enough safe handholds left for three people. <gasps> one of them is going to be washed overboard. Question is, which one? It's up to you who fails to hang on. Once you've made your decision, pick them up and throw them overboard. <laughs> it's so interesting, like, there's a lot of decisions going on. I'm pretty sure those checks mattered as well. I mean, I don't really like him, so... Goodbye. <laughs> Gone. Deep beneath the waves. 
Only three scoundrels left. Knowing them, their first thought is that this means a larger share of the treasure. There's no time to mourn or celebrate. You've survived, but your ship's badly damaged, and you're not alone. That's the Sunfish, the personal vessel of Solomon Sanko, governor of the Crown Islands. Ooh, he's taken a batter in from the storm. Though, <laughs> it's still in better condition than your poor ship. Wait, those... those aren't sailors. They're orcs! The most feared pirates in these seas. The governor and his captain are tied up on the deck. The orcs clearly don't want you interfering with their plans. Prepare to be boarded! Oh, it continues. Okay. I'll just heal up. Like, I don't care. Come to me. There's like a question mark on the cannon. How strong are they? Ah, easy. That's a big boom. Should I check this? After the strike. Good thing you secured the cannon. Now you can use it on the orcs. Ah. So yeah, those are the actual changes. Oh wow. I need to move him, but he'll die. Good thing you secured the cannon. Now you can use it on the orcs. Do not cross, but... <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a good idea now. I think he can tank this. Oh, I can just use this? Okay, then it does not need to be highlighted. We're good. Good thing you secured the cannon. Now you can use it on the orcs. I can still attack. Maybe it's not that complicated as I make it be. Like Demia has a lot of things going on here. I think I'm good. Good thing you secured the cannon. Now you can use it on the orcs. Oof, that must have hurt. Come to me. Thanks for your help. Now let me repay the favor. Captain Starling has freed himself and found his pistol. Damn it, they're all stuck. Oh, perfect. You've done it! With some 
help from Captain Starling. Together, the scoundrels and the captain free Governor Sanko, who thanks you all profusely. Your ship's in no shape to sail. You should come with us to the capital, offers the governor. Okay, I'll end it here. I have a couple notes. I really like the concept that's an actual adventure. We have a game master that tells us the story, what's going on and stuff like that. The design is a little bit crunchy because I would much prefer Dimio style when you touch the figurine like the stats would appear. This just kind of transferring to the podium is waste of time and those statistics can easily be converted in like a block of text we didn't reach this point yet but we will be able to like upgrade the characters their skills so i'm definitely looking forward to that because we will be playing this oh yes <laughs> the gameplay is like continuous so the stuff is just happening over and over it feels like you're inside the game and experiencing it yourself even though i chose the challenge in difficulty it wasn't particularly that hard i had some hard times but it's just because i didn't know the mechanics there's a lot of really good skills that to combine with others creates a lot of good tactics so the strategy is here i don't know i feel like i just don't like the ui aspect of it but other than that it's pretty fun we'll play it and yeah it's just curious how <laughs> this birdie will tell us the story